everyone, I am Megan from the Sacramento location, and today I would like to show you about the Baby Lock Ballad. Um, this machine is amazing for so many reasons. Um, first off, we can see the size. There are a ton of projects we can get done because of this space. Also the stadium lighting, the automatic needle threader, which I'll show you later, so stay tuned. The Baby Lock Ballad features an 11 and a quarter inch throat, which will be plenty big for all of your projects, whether you're quilting or sewing or just crafting. The stadium lighting, we have stadium lighting underneath the bed of the machine here, and then also on the needle itself. That's gonna ensure that you're gonna see all of your project while you're working on it. The machine also has a separate bobbin winder motor, so you can wind bobbins while you're sewing or quilting. The needle threader on this machine is very simple. All you have to do is press a button and the machine is threaded. The ballad has an easy drop-in bobbin system which will allow you to easily change your bobbins. The Ballad has a color touch screen that will show you all of your different stitches and settings. When you want to change it, you'll simply touch it with the stylus or your finger. The machine will automatically change your width, length, and tension for you. And then also here at the top, it will show you which foot to use for that stitch. Underneath the picture of the stitch, we have our pivoting function, which is great to use during applique. The machine will stop with the needle in the down position and then the foot will raise so you can pivot. Over here on the side, we have our menu of different stitches. When you want to select that menu, you'll simply touch it and then select the stitch you'd like. We are going to play with our character decorative stitches in category number six. And I'm going to show you how this machine has multi-directional stitching. The multi-directional stitching is a great feature to use if you're not quite ready to jump into free motion quilting. Let me demonstrate it to you now. By pressing this button right here, I'm telling the machine to stop stitching once it's completed the stitch. The next foot I'm going to show you is the E foot. The E foot is very cool because it will allow us to go from free motion to regular stitching without having to change the foot. I have it already installed on the Baby Lock Ballad and it does come with this machine. I'm going to first start off with a straight stitch. You can also choose a decorative stitch if you'd like. We'll go ahead and try one of our applique stitches. And then when you're ready to go back to free motion, we're simply going to select our straight stitch and lower our feed dogs. The digital dual feed foot that comes with the Baby Lock Ballad is a belt driven walking foot. Once it's plugged into the machine, it knows that it's on and certain stitches will be grayed out so you cannot use it. We refer to this foot as the snowmobile since it's belt driven. Um, it will mow over any fabric you put underneath it. Today I'm going to show you with denim how we can easily go over that seam. So with the straight stitch selected, I'm going to increase the stitch length just a smidgen to 3.0. And now we're going to effortlessly sew over our denim. When doing 
applique on the baby lock ballad, there are quite a few different applique stitches to choose from. I am going to use the applique stitch in the quilting category, number Q12. And this is the quilting applique stitch. It defaults to a 2.0 stitch length and a 2.0 width. If you want to increase that, you can simply touch the plus to increase your stitch width. And then also with our left right shift, I can move the stitch all the way over to the right, which will be really helpful during applique. Using our end foot, which comes with the machine, I'm going to line up on the side of the foot where the clear area is. And then I'm also going to select my pivoting function. So it will stop with the needle in the down position and raise so I can pivot. baby lock ballad and the directional sewing, I can actually sew left to right in diagonal. On my screen, if I select the multi-directional stitching, you'll notice that I can sew left, right, diagonal in a zigzag, and then also a straight stitch. This is really helpful if you're trying to put on patches on a very large piece of fabric, or maybe you're just sewing Girl Scout or Boy Scout patches. I'm going to select the stitching to the right in a straight stitch. To demonstrate this. The Baby Luck Ballad is an amazing machine, as you can see. It is available on our website where we do offer free shipping with hassle free returns. We also have great financing options that we can offer you. We also have classes that you can take in person. Um, so call us, visit our website if you have any questions. Thanks for joining us.